This hoof print is designed by nature and photographed in the middle of the Nevada desert, far away from any human hoof care. What we see is that the complete bottom of the hoof has been carrying weight. This hoof print, on the other hand, is designed by humans and based on the traditional opinion that the hoof is supposed to be peripherally loaded and the hoof wool is supposed to carry the horse's weight. Let's look inside the hoof to see what happens to the inner structures when the hoof becomes loaded. Remember that all the weight comes in the bone structure and then needs to be transferred from the coffin bone to the ground. We can clearly see how the coffin bone flexes down inside the hoof capsule and how the laminar stretches. An extremely important detail here is that you can actually see that the hoof wall is moving away from the coffin bone when the hoof becomes loaded and that indicates that the coffin bone cannot be hanging from the hoof wall. This hoof is cut a little further back and that is why the coffin bone looks different. Let's get familiar with what we see. Since this hoof is suffering from laminitis, something unexpected will happen when I start putting pressure on the short passing bone. I want you to look at this circled area and as soon as something happens there, look at this area. We are going to look at this sequence a couple of times. We could clearly see that when the laminar got overloaded, it broke. But that is not what is most interesting. The most interesting question is if the coffin bone did fall down when the laminar broke. If the coffin bone was hanging in the laminar from the hoof wall, then it should have fallen down when the laminar broke. But did it? Let's look more closely at what happens to the coffin bone when the laminar breaks. And once again. And once again. And once again. And now let's look at the other side. And again. And again. And again. I suppose we can agree on that the coffin bone is not snapping loose and falling down when the laminar breaks. And if so, then this is the final proof that the traditional opinion that the hoof is supposed to be peripherally loaded is false and the foundation for all traditional hoof care is incorrect. If the coffin bone is not falling down when the laminar breaks, then this picture must be considered a sign of animal cruelty, since someone has forced the hoof wall to carry the horse's weight all by itself, even though it's not supposed to. If the coffin bone is not hanging from the hoof wall, then it must be standing on the sole. And since that is the case, nothing will happen when the laminar breaks. Now, let's compare the movements inside the hoof capsule. The top one with the broken laminar and the bottom one with intact laminar. Hmm, not that different, is it? One last time, the video sequence that should change the world of hoof care as we know it. 
peripherally loaded hooves must from here on be considered animal cruelty and should be declared illegal. It is extremely important for the hoof and the horse that the frog, or I would prefer to call it the pad, is the principal weight-bearing tissue. If you want to know how much weight the pads need to carry, then don't miss the next final proof.